Okay, uh, so welcome to our recorded lecture. This is a special recorded lecture. This is for auditing. I call this the four A's of audit process. Okay, so as we know in audit uh, process, we start on uh, the determining client's acceptability in engagement. And then later on, we'll focus on risk of material misstatement assessment. So based on the risk assess of the on the company, we'll create our strategy and audit planning. So in our audit strategy and audit planning, it is important for us to determine the assertions presented or uh, provided by the company. So those are assertions are sort of things that the, the other, other parties needs to know about the company. It might be the amount of assets that they have or liabilities that they still owe. Okay, so this is how the management will be presenting it in the financial statement. So those are the assertions. So these are uh, assertions on their uh, category or let us say uh, titles. Okay, we have existence and occurrence, rights and obligations, accuracy, valuation and allocation, completeness, presentation and disclosures. So those assertions are provided by the company. So as an auditor, what we need to do is to create or determine the appropriate audit procedures that we need to perform. So what we will do in audit procedures, we will test the assertion. So these are the examples of audit procedures. We have observation, inquiry, inspection, reperformance, recalculation, confirmation or external confirmation, and then analytical procedure. So assertions and procedures are related because assertion is coming from the management. And uh, while the audit procedure is the step okay, to test those representations that the management had made. And then when you uh, perform audit procedures, now you will be able to create what we call audit evidence or audit evidences. So this audit evidences will be uh, support okay, later on in your audit report. Okay, So these are, or the examples of audit evidences will be physical examinations or the result of physical examination, confirmations, documentary evidence, analytical procedure, oral evidence, reperformance, that also will include uh, recalculation or sorry computational evidence and then observatory evidence so the relationship between audit procedure and audit evidence will be audit procedures is the step audit evidence is the result so uh, in assertion okay the company's uh, information tested by audit procedures and it will uh, generate audit evidence that we will use to create our audit report. So based on our audit report, okay, uh, we can say, uh, or sorry, based on the audit report, the decision makers can think of whether they put their trust on the financial statements or at least there would be something that they have to be mindful of. So in this case, we have five types of uh, opinion. We have unmodified opinion. That will include uh, two types of unmodified opinion. We have unqualified and then with emphasis of matter. Uh, and then there will be a modified opinion. We have qualified, we have adverse, and disclaimer. So this audit report will emphasize on the assertions. Okay, So they will say the, the report presented or provided by the management is uh, in accordance with accounting, st accounting standards and provides true and fair view of the financial status of the company. So that's it. Thank you for listening to my recorded lecture. Hope you learned something.